Accommodating special needs learners in higher education offers a different set of challenges than it does in K-12, mostly because you're working with adult learners and adult learners are adults and they are responsible for themselves and advocating for their own accommodations. Now in K-12, students with an IEP, they have an entire team rallying around them who are ensuring that they are making academic progress, that they're reaching their goals. You know, there's educators, there's therapists and other professionals, as well as a legal parent or guardian who are on this team and they meet at least annually to make sure that the student is moving along and thriving and getting the accommodations that they need. When an adult learner goes to college or a higher education institution, that IEP does not travel there and they do not have that team. Now what they can do as they can bring that IEP to college and they can use that as a guide to know what accommodations to ask for and to communicate that to the university as well as communicate it to their different professors. Communication is the key here. If you think about a university or a college or a VOTEC program or any higher education institution, they are usually very busy. They have students coming and going all the time. They're graduating, they're leaving, they're switching programs, they're coming in, they're going out, and it's very hard to keep up with this in and out of, of adult learners and students. And if you don't know that they have special needs or need accommodations, then you don't know because it's not been communicated to you. So the adult learner really needs to communicate to their higher education institution the accommodations that they need because they are there. They're, they are all there. They can get extra time on tests. They can take their tests in a quiet testing environment at the test center. There are things that can be done, but number one, they need to communicate those needs to their higher education institution. Um, an idea for instructors or professors would be to send a survey out at the beginning of each semester, allowing students to communicate those accommodations that might be needed for them. And so that way they can keep that open line of communication open and they can know how to best help their students and students can then perform to the best of their abilities and be able to get the accommodations that they need. So special needs learners in higher education institutions have the opportunity to thrive and get the accommodations that they need. They just need to communicate it with their instructors and with their institution or organization. Communication is the key when it comes to accommodations in higher education for special needs students, as well as success for the student and success for the school and the educators that work there.